This video is to help you with experiments Q1 and Q2, which are about chemical equilibrium. In both cases, they are equilibria with iron 2 plus ions. Q1, you are using thiocyanate, which makes a blood red complex with iron. In Q2, you will be using orthophenanthroline, which makes an orange complex. You've actually used iron orthophenanthroline before. In both cases, what you are going to be doing is making up multiple solutions. I've just got a few small flasks here, but you'll be making up about 20 solutions of different concentrations of iron plus the ligand. In some cases, you will be holding the concentration of the ligand constant and varying the concentration of iron. In other cases, you'll be doing the opposite, holding the ligand con uh, the iron constant and changing the concentration of the ligand. By observing the concentration of the colored complex, you will be able to determine the position of the, the chemical equilibrium, which is iron plus ligand on one side going to colored complex on the other side. You will, in all cases, be monitoring how much of the colored ligand you have produced using a spec 20. You have used a Spectronic 20 before, so I'll just give you a quick review. The machine is here, and you turn it on with the left-hand knob here. And the first thing you're going to do is set it to the appropriate wavelength. I'm going to use, whoops, going the wrong way here. 509 is exactly what I want. Now, the sample compartment is here. And if you listen, when there is nothing in there, there is a shutter in the light path. So there is zero light getting as far as the detector. So with this in transmittance mode, I adjust this so that I have got 0% of the transmission of the light being transmitted to the detector. All right. And now I need to tell it what 100% is. So I have another cuvette. And remember, they've got white disks on them and a white line. You line the white line up at the front, put it all the way in. And at this point, you switch to absorbance mode. And you want to use the right-hand knob to set this to 0. You can also do this in transmittance mode and set it to 100% transmittance. It's the same thing. There we have it. Now in transmittance mode, that's going to start flashing. We've got zero transmittance. And with a blank in there, yeah, it's drifted. Oops, going the wrong way. Part of my difficulty here is that I'm doing this with a freshly switched on instrument. It's a good idea to turn them on and let them sit for about, oh, 10 minutes before you start taking readings. You'll then have a cuvette of your colored solution. Pop it in. And that has an absorbance of 0.176 in this particular case. You will be reading about 20 different solutions. <clears throat> Once you've got them all ready to go, uh, it'll be quite quick. So I would take this, dump it out, take my solution, rinse it with the next solution to be measured, dump that as well, fill it again with the second solution, pop it back in, and read. And that's all there is to the Spectronic 20. You'll be dispensing different amounts of liquid. We've got burettes in various sizes. This is a 50. This is a 10. You can also use pipettes to make sure that you dispense the various amounts of the different solutions that you need into the 20 uh, uh, volumetric flasks. For cleanup, all of these solutions can go down the sink with lots of running water. And that is how you perform the experiment, either Q1 or Q2, which is an equilibrium of iron with a different ligand.